All right, guys. I wanted to go over my mini cat a little bit. I am definitely not a pro at it. There's some of this stuff that uh, I probably would love and make my life a lot easier, but um, the the manual on this is lacking hardcore. Um, I know I struggled with it at first, um, but we're just gonna go over some basic stuff. Um, so let's do this. I want to make, said I wanna make a, a triangle shaped tab, okay? I'm gonna start with my circle tool. And this goes by radius, so you know that confused me at first too. I wasn't paying attention. Um, this is radius, not diameter. But if you go ahead and click your arrow, come up here to your dimensions, and just punch in. Say I, I want my rate, uh, my diameter of my circle one inch. So that's what I did. Okay. Now, I know I want three of these holes, so I'm gonna drag and highlight this, and I'm gonna click Control-C, and then Control-V. And that's gonna copy and paste my, well, copy my, my circle. I'm gonna get that one lined up. Control-C, Control-V, get my third one going. And like I said, this is just for demonstration purposes, so. I'll try to make things proportionate, but I'm just kind of screwing around right now. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna come here to my line tool. And I'm gonna drag a line here to here. You can see that it didn't quite do what I needed to over here, so. Oops. That's gonna screw me. See, there's certain stuff in that makes it a little tough. So I'm gonna go close to where I think it needs to be. Right click to unhighlight that. I'm going to go from this point to this point. And let's go. Okay, now if I were to zoom in on this, I'm sure my points aren't lined up 100% on the lines. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag and highlight the whole thing and I'm gonna click this intersect tool, that little thing that looks like crosshairs. I'm gonna click that intersect tool and it's gonna pull everything together. So now I can come in here and delete these inner circles, these segments and see now I've got kind of a tab. It's a little it's a little wonky, like I said, we're just screwing around here, so let's do something like that. I'm gonna come in here and delete that goofy ass line that we had. Nope, wrong one. This one. Okay. Now what I want is say I don't know, this is gonna be a, a tab to mount my, um, my seat belts in, in a race car, okay? My restraints. So I'm gonna come in here where I think I want it, and I'm going to put, I think SFI spec is a 3 8 bolt, um, but we'll go with half inch, okay? So I highlighted it, Came up here to my dimensions, my cross dimension, side to side. And as soon as you enter that first one, it's going to go ahead and make it proportionate. It'll make it the whole circle half inch. Okay. Um, now I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to bring it down here. I really don't like how this turned out. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to bring my... Something like that. Something like that. 
that's definitely wonky as shit. But like I said, for demonstration purposes, let's just do this. Okay. Now, I uh, Minicad has some bugs in it. So what I do is once I've made some progress, I'm going to save it as, uh, let's say, harness tab. I'm going to save that as harness tab because for some reason, about 80% of the time that I use the fillet tool, the entire program freezes and I lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and try. I'm going to put in a half inch radius. So that was the fillet tool, the one with the round corner. And I once once you click it, it's going to come up here and want your radius. I want a half inch radius, okay? And now I'm going to select the corner that I want that half inch radius on. And yeah, see, it didn't even work that time. So let's go undo, 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 and let's just deal with it, okay? There's certain things about Minicad that piss me off. But, like I said again, for demonstration purposes, it's going to be all right. Um, kind of where I want it. All right. Now, actually, you know what? Screw that. Let's delete this. And let's go over here. We're going to do our, uh, what the hell is that called? It's like a radius tool. So, I'm going to put that radius tool. Sorry, that's the air compressor purge, uh, the auto drain. Um, so, what I did was I came in here clicked my radius tool, I am drug out my line, and now I'm picking my radius. So say that I want a half inch radius, uh, I think that looks good, right there. That looks much better to me, okay? Um, and come over to the arrow to deselect. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to use some tools here. I'm going to click this circle with all the nodes in it, um, the segmented circle. I'm going to say I want um, a five segment circle, okay? Or say you wanted to do a bolt pattern on a vehicle. Um, let's do a five by four and a half or something. So I'm going to click five pieces in there. And I'm going to click down here. Oh, you know what? I screwed up. Let's drag our circle out first. I'm going to use my mouse roller to zoom the screen out a little bit. So, all right, now that I've got a circle, uh, that's where I screwed up. You have to drag out your circle first, then click the segment tool. I'm going to put five pieces in here and and then son of a bitch okay so enter excuse my language um again this program kind of sucks but i use the shit out of it because it's simple okay now i want let's see 4.5 enter and on the segmented one you're going to have to put it in both blocks here enter and see it's showing my y axis is 4.47 I'm going to just go in there click 4.50 again and click on the screen now Okay, we should have a circle that's four and a half inches in diameter. Let's just right across here. See, you've got four and a half inches from one side of the circle to the other. Um, and for bolt pattern, that's what you're measuring is the distance between the uh, center to center on the, the studs, okay? So now I've got my five segments 
and I'm going to want, let's drag out another circle that is, say, an 8-inch radius. I, I, I'm going to make a, uh, a spare tire mount or something, okay? When I come in here, I'm going to select my circle tool, drag out any old circle, and then I'm going to come up here and punch in um, 0 0.5. Let's do a half inch lug, a half inch stud, okay? So now I've got a half inch circle. I'm going to control C, control V, copy that one. Zoom in to get it on this node. Control C, Control V. Zoom in to get it on the node. Sometimes these little magnet tools down here work, and sometimes they don't. I've got it selected to where it should automatically snap to the node, but again, it's my minicad. Um, this magnet tool is really cool. I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, but that magnet tool there will get automatically give you center of a line. So if you have some goofy line, say it's four and three quarter inches, click that magnet tool and click your node and just hover over the, about about the center of the line, and it will highlight it, and you can select it. You automatically have center of your line. Okay. So let's continue on with this. Again, sorry, my air compressor. I should have. I'm not very good at making these videos, guys. As you can tell, I am definitely not a uh, a YouTube personality. Not worthy of it anyway. I I, I don't put enough effort into it. I just. I, I know how I am. I run a business, and, and sometimes it, I want to make videos, but it's too hard because I don't have the time. But I'll try to keep up and make more for you guys because I know I really struggled at first. I went from zero computer experience to owning a plasma table. That had always been my dream. And I tell you what, I'm, I'm very pleased with STV. Uh, they are by far the best company I've ever dealt with as far as service and support. I was on the phone for the first two weeks, operator error after operator error, and they treated me like I was their only customer. Barry and and uh, Barry and those guys are just top notch. So, sorry. Coming in here, I'm gonna delete these segments, otherwise it's gonna cut those lines out. I'm gonna cut, cut, cut and see now we have oh undo now we have our bolt pattern uh, five by four and a half bolt pattern for a spare tire mount uh, whatever you want and and again you can do that you can break it up into as many segments as you want drag out a circle keep it highlighted and click the segmented circle icon or button and I'm gonna do say I want a six by six and a half uh, lug pattern I'm, I'm gonna do six pieces so I, I click the segmented tool punched in the number six and I'm hitting I'm gonna click back onto the screen and it did the same bullshit again let's see Okay, so I highlighted it a second time and clicked enter. Again, it's my mini cat. Um, all right, and then we're going to do the same thing over. You're, you're just going to go ahead and put in your half inch circles at each point, right? And then draw your outer circle or your square or whatever you want around it, um, whatever kind of flange you want to make. But. Uh, it's an easy way to get an accurate um, lug pattern. Uh, okay, so this circle, we're going to make it, I'm going to highlight it again. We're going to do 
click off of the screen, highlight it again, 6.50, and now we've got uh, six and a half inch space between this this lug and that lug or stud. Um, so yeah, these again. Let's let's do this. I like to do this. I like to highlight everything and hit the intersect tool. Um, just make sure that any nodes that aren't touching lines that aren't touching, it's going to intersect them automatically. Um, so those are a few of the tools. Uh, let's, let's go with the mirror tool down here. Uh, I'm going to highlight my tab and say I want multiple of these, um, but I want the dross to be on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this bottom magnet tool and it's going to flip it like this. Okay, if I hit the top magnet tool, it's going to flip it back and forth this way to this. Okay, so between these tools and the magnets down here um, in the grid, obviously uh, you, you want to space it out to whatever uh, grid size you want. I always do one inch. It's easiest. Um, I honestly don't know how to use these tools and I haven't figured them out and I haven't worked real hard on figuring them out. So now I'm going to save my project. Um, I already had it saved as harness tab. So I'm going to click uh, save as there's my harness tab. Click save. I want to replace it. Yes. Okay, now we can go into our import screen. When I click the folder, I'm going to find my motorsports file. Motorsports. Okay, uh, I'm going to come down here, harness tab, open. And there we go. I uh, opened it up, and once it's in this screen, you can bring it over. If you want multiple, uh, click the plus button. If you screw up, click the back button. Um, my offset, uh, definitely for fine cut consumables, uh, 0 0.025, uh, 25 thousandths is perfect for me if I have a half inch hole and I want it half inch exactly I can put I, I can use 0 0.025 and my kerf width uh, that that's perfect um, your lead in you know dependent on what you're doing like this uh, you might want your lead in a little bit further towards the center so drag this over and uh, that makes sure that you don't have any goofy notches in here from where it pierced. Okay, you're not going to have your pierce point. Um, I, I, I really wish you could determine, you know, I want, say, I don't want this to lead in. I wish I could independently flip-flop because there's been a few times where I need an outside uh, lead in and an inside lead in but for some reason I, I, I can't do it and maybe there's a way now but I know when I did it uh, when I first got this there was no way uh, to do it and say let's say I want another chassis tab in here so I'm gonna click I'm gonna highlight it control C control V and I should have another harness tab yeah there it is so bring that guy over here God, my original uh, so I've got it highlighted I'm gonna flip it up because that works better for me uh, I know you know with the way this thing nests sucks um, if I brought in 20 of these pieces and let the, the the program automatically nest it oh they come out all jacked up I mean you, your your kerf width I set this distance myself, but say I added more, um, 
it's not doing it right now but if i if i i've done that where i've had to have like 50 lifting eyes and i tried to go off of the nesting on this and it fucked a bunch of them up because it was piercing too close to uh the other piece it's not accounting for for kerf width so make sure of that make sure you go in there and, and adjust this and you can do it in mini cad you can you can do that you can kind of nest it however you want it and then save it and bring it in or in inkscape uh you can do that okay so basically that's what i have for you guys today i have been wanting to do one on uh my mini cad for a while and just been fucking air compressor just been too busy uh anyhow enjoy your table i know i use mine every single day stv is the shit um just if uh lucas could get the the program perfect which he will at some point uh that'd be amazing but you guys have a good day hopefully this helped um i know i'm an idiot on camera have a good day bye bye sorry oh you guys want to see the shop yeah got a couple race cars in here uh let me show you something real quick that i did on minicad working on some carbon fiber parts over there but uh you know i do a lot of uh fuel cells and intercoolers and stuff like that but uh this was all drawn on minicad you know um and then cut on the table and put on the press brake bent it up on the press brake and welded it together um i again have a good day thanks for watching my uh Stupid video.